As oil goes down, you're going to hear a lot about how lower oil prices mean lower gas prices, and that's a good thing for consumers. But remember, there is another side to the oil slide. That is the debt side. Because crashing oil prices can be a bad thing for many of the debt-heavy oil companies, as well, of course, as their investors. I want to focus on some names that have high net debt to earnings and low credit ratings. Now, look at some of these returns. This is this quarter, guys, effectively 75 days or so. Oasis down 61%, Whiting down 54%, Matador, and even the giant Marathon down 38%. Okay, now all oil and gas stocks are down big, but what we want to focus on are some names specifically to watch. So what we did is I ran a screen of companies that have high net debt levels compared to EBITDA, their after-tax earnings, as well as a junk credit rating, single B or a single B minus. So these are companies that have high debt ratios and low credit ratings. You've got Calon Petroleum, Carrizo, CRZO Oil and Gas, Extraction, Oil and Gas, Laredo Petroleum, Matador Resources, and the aforementioned Oasis. The average return of those companies behind us is a decline of 51% this quarter. That is 15% worse than the XOP Oil and Gas ETF. In other words, guys, when we're talking about oil, if you're looking at companies and you're thinking, okay, where are some names that I might want to focus on either to invest in or maybe go short, look for high debt levels and lower credit ratings because they matter. By the way, who are some of the names out there that have low debt ratios as well as solid credit ratings? Well, you know the big dogs, right? ExxonMobil, Chevron, also Occidental, ConocoPhillips, and on the e &P side, EOG Resources. They've got solid credit ratings, low debt ratios, a lot of debt out there, guys. And we've talked about this years ago. It is not just a lower gas price story. It is a debt servicing story. You need free cash flow if you want to make your interest payments. And at $46 a barrel, there's going to be a lot of companies, Becky, that kind of get exposed that are having a hard time doing that. So we're just trying to dig some names out. We're not picking on these companies. We're just noting that they got a lot of debt compared to earnings, and they got uh, low credit ratings. Just the other something to watch.